All right, this time we look at uh, W3M and some custom commands you can do with it. Um, you can actually call like external bash scripts or bash commands, whatever it is. And real easy here, this one should be in your, oh, is that your home folder, W3M config. And here are nine slots you can do uh, to add in your, you know, your bash commands or whatever. So some of the common ones is uh, setting it to your GUI web browser. And this is one just using my uh, browser variable because it's already set in my, um, you know, configurations. But if you didn't have it set, you can always type in like your browser directly here, like Firefox, Chromium, uh, you know, Chrome, whatever you're using. And I'll open it with your GUI. So this one is for um, copying the URL to your clipboard. And the next one here, this one is to stream videos using MPV. So uh, anything that MPV supports and YouTube DL supports, right? So that's it for that. And I'll queue it using Task Buller uh, that I talked about. So this one is similar to the one I made a video on. Um, what was that one? Uh, Newsbeater, where we queue videos. Same concept, but this one is on uh, W3M here. And this one is to download, uh, well, this one just to rip the MP3 from a video file or something like that, right? So let's say if you're on um, any sites that YouTube DL supports. So that, that includes uh, YouTube and a few other sites, like, uh, I don't know, some other sites that has um, videos or whatever. You can uh, rip it and just have the MP3s only. I did a video on this a while back, too. I think it's, I call it uh, One Click YouTube DL or whatever. YouTube didn't like that shit and then removed my video, but uh, this one's the same type of code that you can do um, for that. Next one, this one is to send uh, magnet links or torrent links to your transmission uh, command line program that I use for torrents, right? And the last one I use is uh, aria 2 c So this one is just downloading like regular files like, um, you know, HTTP links and stuff like that. It will download to it and um, you know you can actually resume well you can resume if the server supports resuming so that's what I like about aria 2c here um, pretty much it and I have other empty slots that we'll talk about another time but we're just going to talk about these six one here uh, for today so how do you use this here so basically in your key mapping um, the default if you want to open the current uh, URL, is Shift and M, right? And if you want to open like whatever your uh, cursor is on, uh, whatever link is it on, then you can do Escape Shift and M. And that's you know three combo here, you know Escape Shift and M. And it gets more if you're using with the numbers. So any of these numbers here, if you want to call these commands, you actually have to remember the numbers that corresponds to uh, whatever it is. And then you have to hit uh, the combo. So you have to do like two escape shift and M. It's a long ass thing. So that's why I recommend you rebind it to like E here and F. And then it will just shorten up to like two hotkeys a little bit quicker, I guess. Anyways, I'll show you both, right? So if I'm searching for um, YouTube, not YouPorn, but YouTube, and we'll search for my name and we'll do Linux. And if I ever want to open this page that we uh, are on right now, I can do um, Shift and M, and this will open my GUI web browser, right? Um, now, if I want to open a link, let's see, we have a link down here somewhere. Um, here we go. We have a link to this video, top 10 Linux apps or whatever. Um, and I do, was that, Escape, Shift, and M? then it opened that, uh, you know, link that our cursor was on. So that's what you can do here with the default hotkeys. But if you uh, remapped it, then all you got to do is hit one hotkey like E and it opens our current uh, URL um, or any other URL that uh, our cursor is on. So my cursor is on this link here. I just hit F and look at that. It opens real quick. So that's why I recommend you rebind that here. Um, anything else so as far as um, 
was that uh, our custom, you know, bash commands here, um, you just got to remember the numbers. So let's say on number two here, we are going to copy to our clipboard. So let's go bust it out here. If I want to copy this URL to the clipboard, or I mean our current URL to clipboard, I can do 2E, and you see on top here it has this little notification, and this is what is in our clipboard right now. And I can do like Control V to paste it, whatever I want, um, so on and so forth. If I want to copy this URL uh, link here for YouTube, I do 2F, and I'll copy the URL, so on and so forth. Or this GitHub page, I do um, 2F, and look at that, it copies it to our clipboard. So that's that. Uh, the next one is if I want to queue videos. So if I want to queue videos using Taskbuller, MPV, and YouTube DL here uh, for YouTube links, I can do that. I can do, I was at, uh, what was this one? 3, okay. So 3F, right? This one will queue the videos, and you'll see the videos in a minute here. Look at that. The videos on the bottom here. Close this off here, All right? If I want to queue another videos while I'm watching that, how to draw here so 3f it'll cue the videos and let's do this handbrake one i did is that 3f right so we queued in uh, two more additional videos so once this video is, is uh finished it'll go on to the next one and the next one uh however many that you you queue uh for our list so if i quit out of this uh, another one should pop up in a minute now we'll wait for a second And there we go. That's um, another video is queue. And we quit out of this. There should be another one soon. And there we go, right? So those are my videos for that. So that's how you queue videos real quick using MPV and all that. This one is to uh, actually rip the audio from the MP uh, was out of uh, the videos. So if you're on YouTube and you search for what do you search for? Let's say Madonna, all right, or something like that. And you want to rip a song out of this. So let's say this one here, like a prayer. Um, what's the hotkey for this? Four. Okay, so we do like four F, and that will rip out the um, was that like a prayer song? And let's say this um, hang up song, whatever. Four F. And it should be in our uh, downloads folder in a minute. Do we have that already? Let's see, MP3. I think it's already done. There you go. Those two ones that we just ripped, look at that. It goes out to MP3s real quick. And that's how you have your MP3s instead of the videos. Real easy. Um, what's the next one here? This one's transmission. So uh, we'll bust out. The Pirate Bay, how about that? We'll keep this legit wallpaper HD or something like that. And we have some uh, wallpapers here. So this one, um, you know, well, the Pirate Bay doesn't have like torrent links anymore. They have like magnet links. And you can do the same thing. You know, you just add, uh, what's that? You hit 5F. And we'll add it to our um, torrent client here. So let's say this uh, Ultra HD, whatever the fuck it is, we do uh, 5F. I'll we'll add this magnet link to our torrent client. And my torrent client is here. Look at that. It will actually uh, download it now. Right. So let's say, for example, I do another one. Um, what is this one? Amazing Nature, or whatever. So we do 5F. And it should add that to my torrent client here. And it should start downloading any minute now. So you see it's downloading here, right? Real easy. Anyways, that's how it works uh, if I want to add uh, torrent links or magnet links. Um, but, you know, YouTube, well, not um, the Pirate Bay doesn't have ma uh, torrent links no more. They're just using magnet links only. So same thing, whatever it is. Uh, anything else in here? The last one, what do you got in the last one here? This one is using aria 2 c So aria 2 c is mainly for downloading like, it can do torrents too. It can do like, uh, what was the other one it can do? 
meta links, uh, but mainly I use it for HTTP links. So I'll show you some example of that here. We'll search Google for, let's say video files. I think I found some last time, index of MP4s. And in here, um, what the hell is this one? This was the one? Maybe this one was it. Yeah, this one, right? So if I want to download some of these uh, videos in here, um, you know, from this Google index or whatever, I can download from them. So let's say this uh, movie, 10 Things I Hate About You. I actually really like this movie. So if I do like a, what is that, a 6 and F, it'll, it'll add it to my R here to C. Um, you know, and I can do more if I want. But let's go back to our downloads folder. You see he starts downloading that uh, video. Uh, and it has an ARIA 2C, um, you know, just in case it, it, it disconnected or something like that, you can actually resume it. All you got to do is go back to the link and execute the command again, and it should resume it. Um, so that's pretty much it for some of the things I got in here. And it really makes it convenient when you're using uh, W3M because, you know, if you're using um, edit by itself, it's, it's not really good. Because you would actually have to pause the uh, what was that the, the web browsing experience, and um, it'll wait for it to download if you're using it normally, or if it'll wait for it to stream the video as normally. So that's why I like using it with um, Task Builder because Task Builder does two jobs. You can actually queue the the jobs, and it also backgrounds the process. Um, so if you are doing this with like uh, what was that no hop or, or any of these other ones? It's not, um, it will actually just start up all the videos or all the downloads at the same time. It's not really efficient for that. So, Task Builder is what you want to use if you're doing some of these queuing system, right? Anyways, um, that's pretty much it for what you can do with W3M. And, um, the only thing I don't like about this is that you can't really rebind a key to some of these, um, well, any of these at the moment. Right, you actually have to remember the stupid fucking numbers every time, and I don't remember the numbers. I wish they allow you to bind um, these custom ones to a hotkey of your choice, but you really can't. You have to, you have to remember the damn number, and also you have to, um, you know, hit the hotkey combo for for this one here, All right? So that's the only the drawback right now. If in the future they actually allow you to bind it to a different hotkey instead of using the stupid numbers that would make it easier for me to remember instead of like uh hitting the number and then doing this thing but it's better than nothing i'll say anyways hopefully you dig that and if you wasn't using w3m before maybe this one will um you know increase your interest in using it uh for like basic purposes you know you're not gonna like replace your gy web browser um, but uh, this one should at least uh, for some tasks this one's more efficient for it anyways that's a long video but uh, hopefully you dig that and I should do some other ones I do have some other scripts but I'll talk about it next time I'll say um, so check back I usually do a video every Friday so check back um, in the future for that that'll be for this one